Guys, it's been way too long oh. since we've been able to sit and chat. I mean, you guys have been really busy. What's been going on? I would say even the last five years, because during that time, you guys did release an album, of course. We did. <laughs> we released a record. What have we been doing? Uh, we were making a record forever. It's, this is the longest it's ever taken as a record to make, and the first one took a long time, too, but this one was uh, more on purpose, took a long time. Yeah. Yeah, why? Why is that? I think that uh, we released Scars and Souvenirs in 2008. The truth is, in 2011, and there was very little gap between those two records. It just felt like we needed to have a bit more space between those two records and this record. I think just for this record, it's it's ha has a different sound, so it's nice to kind of come back fresh and have have there had been a bit of a delay time before we're back. Okay, I let like people miss us, you know, let people miss us. I like how you said fresh sound, especially since the way Savages, which is the new album, is described as theory of a dead man on steroids. Yeah, I think we made a conscious effort to, to really, uh, you know, get back to rock and roll roots that uh, we grew up with and uh, make a heavy record. This one's uh, a lot more aggressive than anything we've done in the past. And, and we did a lot of steroids while we were doing the record. <laughs> so it makes sense. Uh, as you can tell. So talk about the process when you guys got together and said, okay, let's make an album. How do you want to go about this? Well, we wanted to put some actual musicianship into this record. Um, if you listen to some of the guitar solos that Tyler has done, he's never really shown his ability like he's done on this record. And uh, the guys let me kind of, you know, do a little bit more on this record as well on the drums. So we, we you know, having that said, it, it's a completely different record from pretty much anything we've ever done. But when you guys uh, decided to put this all together, and I've been mentioning this to a lot of acts that I've been talking to lately, the landscape is always changing. There are always new acts. Do you guys think about those new acts when you're putting together music? Because, uh, you know, as much as we love the music, there's always that competition for the charts. No, it's always a gamble. I mean, uh, the worst thing you probably do is listen to what's happening at radio because by the time you write the song, record it, and put it out, a year's gone by. It doesn't work that way. A and R guy thinks it works that way, but <laughs> they're never right. So you you have to probably at some point pick a direction and then just just go with it. And that's what we did. And I, uh, I think in a weird way, the what was happening at rock radio motivated us to to m sort of make the record sound different than what the bands at rock radio were sounding like. We wanted to sound different than what was happening at the time. And I think that we did that, and in a weird way, we're hoping that we can, you know, we can go and change what rock radio plays, and then they can start adding stuff that sounds more like our new record. You know, when it always comes to music, you guys have a producer, some of you guys have been worked with in the past, too. Yeah, well, Howard Benson and his team, this is the fourth record we've done with him. And it's a, it's a, good, uh, a good atmosphere, um, but it was uh, one that it might have been a bit too comfortable when we first started, and, uh, we, you know, we tried to push everybody and uh, try and do something different. And different too, I love and describe this, uh, Drown is a single, and the video. Describe the video because I really love this, man. This is like apocalypse kind of thing. Very post, yeah. It's it's dark, man. I, I think that the ending too has kind of grabbed everybody's attention. You know, nobody really expected to, to see what was going to happen at the end. Um, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think about it? Uh, well, you know, the, the record label, they sent us a bunch of treatments, and the first one they sent us, we're like, I think this is the one. No, verbatim, it, the treatment was, the band is rocking out under a bridge. <laughs> the under end. The pier, under, the pier. under the pier. And we're like, what? what no. <laughs> Come on. And we got this treatment um, uh, from the director, uh, Rich. Yep, Rich. And, uh, yep, Rich. Rich. <laughs> That's all I know him by. <laughs> and uh, it was just the opposite of everything that was coming in. And I'm like, this is the one. we got to do this one. And the label instantly was like, I don't know, guys. Mm, it's really dark, and our our management was like, mm, I don't know. We did it, and then when we finished it, everyone was like, "What a great pick that was, guys!" Yeah, yeah congrats to the management and the yeah, label yeah, picking that one. Go. I think you guys got such a great team working for you. We got your back. <laughs> you know, speaking of got your back, I mean, I've had you guys since like what, 2001, 2002, yeah. from back in the day. I mean, we're we're talking like close to 15 years now. The aggression, the passion, what keeps you guys going after all these years? Remember how young we were back then? Uh, yeah, trust yeah. me. And lighter, too. Trust me. I know that. You know what? I think that for us, it's uh, there's just this ever-changing scope of our band, and it's exciting to you know work on a new record and 
I feel more excited now than I've ever felt in this business with this upcoming record coming out. So I think for us, it's just, you know, like it, the business sort of stays this weird business, but in a way we can still do what we want to do. And that's kind of keeps it interesting and entertaining for us. So what's going to happen tour wise with you guys? I mean, new album has got to be a tour. Yeah, absolutely. This is, we're just kicking it off now. And uh, I think until the end of the year, we have a week off. Like our schedule is getting booked up quick. So uh, I imagine that we're going to be on the road pretty Forever. hard for a couple of years. Yeah. We uh, booked a couple of shows in Russia. We've never been over there before. So wait, we're going to go wait, over. Wait, I got to back up here. You're going to Russia with everything that's going on right now? Uh, yeah, you I think what? so. With everything, <laughs> with everything that's going on right now, don't you think Russia needs some rock and roll? Yeah. We'll we're actually playing. Uh, we have we have David Hasselhoff opening for us on one of the shows. We're gonna go over there and uh, and you know bring peace back to the world. Like you know when the Ber Berlin Wall came down, yeah, David was there. Rock and roll. That's how it happens. Right. Oh my God! Theory of Dead Men and David Hasselhoff. Yeah. I hope he's in Russia. In Russia. <laughs> Be there. Be there. I, I, it's still way too early to to really talk about it, but I want to get this down though. When you talk about the legacy of this band, what do you think it is that this band has really been able to contribute, not just Canadian music, but music in general? Wow. Uh, he gets the hardest he question. You well, sp speaking, I'm not the original member. Um, <laughs> Well, well, good luck with that one. See you later. Yeah, yeah. No kidding, right? No. If you want to pass it on, take a pick at who you think should answer the question. Uh, you know what? Dave or Tyler probably would be a good one for this. All right, man. You want what to take it? Legacy. Legacy. We don't have a legacy. We're just a <laughs> rock band, man. I, think, uh, I would just say, uh, for us, we've been in the business now, like you said, 15 years. I think that in itself is going to be our legacy. The fact that we've been able to stick around and be a band at a time where bands last one record nowadays and then they disappear never to be seen again. I think the legacy is just that we've actually been able to have a bit of a career as a yes, as a band, and, and I think that's in and itself a pretty good accomplishment, so I think we're proud of that. I think that, uh, to be honest, I think that there's probably a lot of people, maybe some people watching that probably wish that we would just <laughs> break up or stop <laughs> making records. And I think at some point when you make five, six, seven records, you've been around for 20 years, and you know, has many songs we have. At some point, you have to be like, all right, yeah, okay. The legacy is annoyance. Yeah, yeah but you it's think annoyance. But you think that whole thing whole, yeah, with Chad Kruger and everything, you think that thing is finally over with people going, yeah, you guys sound like Nickelback, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Uh, I hope so. We, I mean, we haven't, I haven't seen him in probably 10 years. <laughs> I don't even know. You know he got married, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think the whole world knows about that. But, yeah, no, I don't, uh, we, uh, I think we've uh, carved our own path, and uh, we've definitely gone away from that, I think. Yeah, I hope. Definitely. <laughs> Look, I've got one more question to ask, and that is with you, my friend. Mustache or no mustache, how do you decide on how that's going to be working with you? Because it's like I'm never knowing if I'm going to see it or not. That's no mustache. You know, I, had, <laughs> I had it on the first record, and then I shaved it, and then women started coming to our shows. <laughs> how can you hide that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then once in a while I get some dude to be like, dude, bro, where's the handlebar, man? I'm gonna grow back. And It'll I'm like, like well, ten uh, chicks in the circle <laughs> going, no, don't. Yeah. So no to the guys, yes to the women. Yeah, well, we're playing, we play Sturgis once uh, every couple of years. So we're playing Sturgis this year. So maybe I'll have a fake handlebar mustache for the biker show. Cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Guys, it is great talking to you. Congratulations on the new album and get back to Toronto as soon as possible. Can't wait for the and show. Happy birthday. I heard you turn 38. Again. Yeah, he's lying. It's a big 5 0. Ooh. Hawaii 5 0. But, guys, thanks okay. for that. Thanks for the interview. Thank you. you got it.